News begins with breaking news. Breaking first, an officer shot and seriously hurt, and we now know that officer is in surgery right now. Late tonight, dozens of officers and deputies are blocking off this major Fort Myers road for at least a mile. Around 7.30 tonight, witnesses say a man with a long gun tried to carjack people in the middle of MLK near this gas station over here near Flea Masters. The Night Beats is bringing you team coverage tonight. Let's get you right out to the Night Beats. Melinda Lee with some breaking new information happening within the last few minutes. Melinda. And John Carlos, those flashing lights you're seeing just behind me also alert travelers that this section of MLK is still closed. And FMPD says to expect that closure to last for an extensive period of time. Here's how Chief Derek Diggs describes what happened here tonight. Okay, about 7.30 this evening in the area of uh, MLK and Flint Avenue, we had an also involved shooting incident. Uh, I'm not going to get involved into what the incident was all about this time. Uh, we do have an officer that was injured. We also have a suspect that was injured in, and in custody. Dig says there's no threat to the public following this officer involved shooting. He also says they're still working to get a hold of that officer's family and loved ones before releasing their identity. And again, in the meantime, they're reminding travelers that this is an active scene. So expect this area of MLK between Veronica Shoemaker and Michigan Avenue to remain closed for a while as we continue bringing you the latest live. In Fort Myers, I'm Melinda Lee, Wink News Now. Melinda, thank you. Let's go live now to Lee Memorial Hospital where dozens of law enforcement officers are gathering. The officer and suspect have also been taken there. The Night Beats Morgan Reiner is live there now. Morgan. In the last few minutes, we've seen canine units coming in and out. We've seen crime scene units coming in and out. And in the last hour that we've been here, we've seen dozens of squad cars racing and rushing in and out of Lee Memorial right behind me. In the last 20 minutes, we've received confirmation that the officer is in surgery. He is seriously injured. Councilman Johnny Streets is here at Lee Memorial with the city manager. He wants everyone to keep the officer that was shot and all other officers in their prayers as well. Outside of the hospital, the atmosphere is still pretty somber. A few family members were standing outside of the auditorium where all of the officers are being directed to go right now. In addition to FMPD officer, another man believed to be the shooter is injured and is also being treated here at the hospital. More officers are arriving and Chief Derek Diggs is expected to be here shortly. Trust Wink News to keep you informed as we continue to learn more about what is going on inside of the hospital. Live on the night beat, Morgan Reiner, Wink News now. Well, Morgan, thank you. And let's go live to where we believe this all happened at a gas station off MLK. The night beats Chris Grisby is there now, and he talked to witnesses for us. Chris. JC, just before 7.30 this evening, witnesses tell me they heard multiple gunshots go off right back behind me at near this Marathon gas station. You can see police and deputies are here at the scene with a very active scene. There's at least 20 uh, squad, cars, squ squad cars here from the Lee County Sheriff's Office along with the Fort Myers Police Department here on scene. Right now, one witness did tell me he was traveling westbound along uh, Martin Luther King Boulevard when a man with a rifle came out near that marathon gas station as he was driving 45 miles down the road per hour and he was waving that gun shi shining it and pointing it at people multiple people here on scene multiple drivers and he tells me the the scene was just chaotic and that's when police and deputies started arriving here near this marathon gas station and witnesses say that man with the gun then took off on foot and started shooting at officers and there was some sort of gunfire exchange according to those witnesses and that's when we did later find out that that officer is in critical condition right now at the hospital in surgery. But that witness who said he got a gun pointed at him said that um, suspect was ready to shoot at any moment's notice. Because dude was, he had that look in his face like he definitely trying to get away, like whatever. And then if you pull a gun out on somebody in the middle of the street, in the middle of an intersection, you're ready to, for whatever happens anyway. So. And right now we do know that both directions of Martin Luther King Boulevard are shut down at Veronica Shoemaker as well as Michigan Link. Deputies and police officers here on scene tell us it's going to be shut down for the next several hours as investigators and detectives try to figure out exactly what happened and transponded here earlier this evening. You can trust Wink News as soon as we get more information here on the scene. Reporting live in Fort Myers, 
Chris Grisby, Wink News Now. Chris, thank you. We just learned the governor called Chief Derek Diggs and Sheriff Mike Scott to express his support. He sent this tweet offering any state resources. And another new statement from Northport's police chief. The Northport Police Department has the Fort Myers Police Department in our thoughts and prayers as this tragedy unfolds. In the largest city in southwest Florida, Cape Coral also writing tonight, thoughts and prayers are with our neighboring agency, Fort Myers Police Department, during this horrific time. An officer has been shot and the investigation is just in the beginning stages. In a new statement from the Florida Highway Patrol, their public information officer tweeting simply, pray for FMPD. Clewiston Police also posting on Facebook offering their prayers, saying their hearts go out to FMPD and and we stand with you in this time. The Lee County Sheriff's Office also reaching out on Facebook saying thinking about and praying for our brothers and sisters with the Fort Myers Police Department tonight. Hashtag thin blue line. We are family. And Wednesday marked 10 years since the death of Fort Myers police officer Andrew Widman. He was shot and killed in downtown Fort Myers while responding to a domestic dispute. The gunman was out on bail and had a warrant out for his arrest. Following Officer Whitman's death, a new law went into effect here in Florida. The Whitman Act keeps felons who violate probation off the streets until the parole officer can review the case. Wink News is live at the scene of the shooting and the hospital. We'll continue to update you on the officer's condition as soon as we hear anything. If you step away from your television, the latest information is always available on the Wink News app. And breaking in Los Angeles. And we're staying on top of breaking news for you. We just heard that the officer that was shot today is in surgery. And this is a live look at Lee Memorial right now where that officer is seriously injured and is on the operating on the operating floor right now. And the suspect is also at the hospital right there. More officers and officials are collecting at the hospital as we speak. A live report in just two minutes. Wink News, now back with breaking news. And we're back, back with breaking new information as we're following a Fort Myers police officer that was shot and is in the hospital currently in surgery right now. That's right. And let's go out to the night beast, Melinda Lee, who is live at the scene speaking to the police department tonight. Melinda. And John, Carlos, and Brittany, first I'm going to step off to the side here to give you a better look at this active scene behind me. So this section of MLK from Veronica Shoemaker to Michigan Avenue is still closed. And FMPD says to expect that closure to last for an extensive period of time. Now, we just heard from FMPD Chief Derek Diggs. He confirmed that this area of MLK in Flint Avenue is the scene of an officer-involved shooting. He says the shots were fired around 730 tonight and led to one FMPD officer being seriously injured. We now know that that officer is in the hospital and in surgery. And FMPD also says they're still working to get a hold of that officer's family and loved ones. So we're going to be bringing you the latest information as we learn it. In the meantime, we're told that there is no threat to the public. And again, this area of MLK is closed and we're told to expect it to remain closed for an extensive period of time. Live in Fort Myers, I'm Melinda Lee, Wink News Now. Well, Melinda, thank you. And to get a better idea of how this all started, let's go live out now to the night beats. Chris Grisby, who is talking to witnesses on what they saw. Chris. John Carlos, as, as soon as we last spoke, the scene has stayed about the same with the law enforcement presence right back by, over my shoulder near this Marathon gas station. I'm going to step out the way so my photojournalist can zoom in. There's about at least 20 to 30 law enforcement officers from the Fort Myers Police Department along with the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Both directions of Martin Luther King Boulevard are still shut down at this hour. As as far as we can see, there seems to be a little bit of activity with officers as well as detectives and the crime scene unit moving around. One witness I did speak to earlier this evening, he told me he was driving away from I-75 on Martin Luther King Boulevard headed in the westbound direction when a gentleman appeared out of nowhere near that Marathon gas station, gas station and started pointing a gun at people as they were driving 45 miles per hour along the speed limit. He tells me he was pointing that gun at multiple people and that's when deputies came as well as officers responded here to the scene. Witnesses say there was some sort of gunfire exchange to, with at least 10 to 15 gunshots fired off here at the scene. Um, we do now know that an officer has been shot uh, as far as that suspect or that person that the witnesses say was carrying the gun. We still don't know about his condition, but witnesses, multiple witnesses tell me that it was a male, young adult male between the ages of 20 to 30 years old. Take a listen what that I take a listen to what that eyewitness had to say. He come across the street, so basically I'm not trying to hit him until I see the gun and then like 
you know, it's, it's kind of, you, know, you got to think kind of think fast if you want to get in the middle of or, or not. So I just kind of swerved them and kept going. And that witness, as you just heard, kept going in a way, fleeing from the scene and then later calling 911. We do know that both directions of Martin Luther King are still closed at this hour. I've been working to try to figure out how long this intersection could be closed between Michigan Link and Veronica Shoemaker. And that right now, this uh, situation is still very fluid. And as soon as we get more information, you can trust Wink News to bring you up to date. Reporting live in Fort Myers, Chris Grisby, Wink News Now. Chris, thank you. The Lee County Sheriff's Office just posted this to Facebook, reading, thinking about and praying for our brothers and sisters with Fort Myers Police Department tonight. Thin blue line, we are family. And we are back with breaking news. We continue to follow this story that we've been following all day. An FMPD officer that was shot around 730. He is currently now in surgery at Lee Memorial. That is the scene you see there on the left. Lee Memorial Hospital. There continues to be a parade of people that come in, including police officers and even uh, elected officials that go to Lee Memorial right now to see how that officer is doing. That suspect is also at Lee Memorial. The middle screen right there, that is where it all began. It began around 7.30. We heard from witnesses that there was a person waving a long shotgun in the middle of MLK, trying to carjack people, trying to flee from another scene. And on the uh, on the right, you see the scene again, and this is a marathon gas station again. It happened around 7.30. Right now, we know that the officer is at Lee Memorial. He is in surgery, according to Councilman Johnny Streets, and that suspect is also at Lee Memorial. And agencies from across Southwest Florida are reaching out, providing their condolences, their thoughts, and their prayers. That includes the Lee County Sheriff's Office, Cape Coral PD, uh, the latest now from Northport Police. Uh, their statement reading, the Northport Police Department has the Fort Myers Police Department. In our thoughts and prayers as this tragedy unfolds, we'll continue to update you on this breaking situation. Well, Zach, thank you. Back to breaking news in Fort Myers. That last check in officer that was shot is in surgery at Lee Memorial. The suspect is also there at the hospital. Witnesses say a man with a long gun tried to carjack people in the middle of MLK at this gas station near Flea Masters around 7:30. Moments later, a crew spotted about two dozen squad cars and an ambulance go into Lee Memorial. More officers are pouring in, and Chief Derek Diggs is expected at that hospital. Back out live to the scenes now. Our crews continue to grab more information tonight. Make the switch over to Wink TV right now at 11 o'clock. And of course, all of this happening about 10 years after that officer in Fort Myers was shot, Andrew Widman, and that actually provided some uh, some legislation to protect officers. But again, tonight, this scene happening and spreading across uh, Fort Myers tonight. Yeah, very terrifying incident. We've been hearing from authorities across Southwest Florida, including Lee County Sheriff's Office, Cape Coral PD. The governor even reached out to yeah. Chief Derek Diggs as well as Sheriff Mike Scott. Uh, all of them sending their thoughts, prayers, condolences, just everything uh, yeah. trying to bring the community together and wish everybody well. Of course, this is a very active scene, so we'll continue to bring you the latest information on air as well as online and on our Wink News app. a lot app. of people are probably wondering the condition of the officer. We do not know. We know he's in surgery again, and officer, uh, actually, Councilman Johnny Streets is asking for everyone just to please pray through the night. We'll be sure to update you. Thanks for joining us this evening.